For the last few days, I've been putting mulch down. And so I've got this place, the new stretch, mulched in a little bit. This is about 18 bags of mulch. <laughs> So I, I put the mulch in the back here. Everything's surviving the frost for the most part, except for some dahlias um, that I had bought or not. But the dahlias that I'm growing are doing just fine. We've had frost the last four days. This is the new stuff. I have some caladium. Some are doing good and some are doing, uh, um, I've been bringing them in at night, all the new stuff. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> but uh, I'm hoping having these outside again, outside of the garage, they'll start perking back up. But like, this is my whole obsession now. <laughs> Anything that's like a burgundy color and like cream or vanilla or yellow. I'm like, oh, this goes together. Right now, I am. Oh, look at this tulip. Some of the tulips are like my late blooming tulips. Some of them are just spectacular. Everything else is going. And then you'll have something like that pop up that's like, oh, look at that tulip. So gorgeous. And then these back here are just lovely. This is that Finola and Intimate Bowl. But They've done really well with the, the frost we've had the last four days and the cold weather. This is the first day that's been decent, kind of. And they're just, look at that. Absolutely lovely. This is a coleus from last year. Still here. Planning on planting some stuff today. But this is one of the dahlias and I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut it back or what I'm gonna do or if I'm gonna take it out, but it has not done well with our frost. So tulips are kind of on the way out, like I said, and then all of a sudden you'll get, oh look, there's a, you know, a new tulip. <laughs> and some allium are coming up. Today we're gonna plant this uh, opening day double file verburnum. And uh, it has these like really adorable white baseball sized um, flowers. Um, it says uh, full sun, partial shade. Uh, six to eight feet high, six to eight feet wide. So this should be really fun. Shrub goals. This is what it looks like right now. This is a um, first editions selected for success. I swear I hear my voice being called. I'm gonna plant this here because there's really no other big plants going in right here. And it's all just tulips um, around it. And the nearest hydrangea is over there. And that's a quick fire fab right there. And then the next hydrangea is all the way down there. So we have a pretty good distance for something like this to go in. All those seeds that I put out here before, I just mulched on top of them. I was like, well, 
I can always plant more of that stuff later. <laughs> And as usual, got my biotone starter. I'm gonna put that in there first. our root ball how that's all looking it's not too root bound I've seen way way worse this is a bad I mean you can you probably don't even need to break this up at all but I like to do it just a little bit if it's real bad just place her in there Sort of fun. I'm just trying to look out about cryptocurrency today. Since all the stocks are down, everybody's all excited. I'm invested in GameStop and AMC, so I'm having a good day. <laughs> All watered in into her new home. Really nice, healthy looking plant. I got this at Lowe's or Menards. Never had one of these before. So it says. Compact plants are covered with baseball-sized snowball snowball-like flowers that open with a tinge of green and quickly mature to a pure white. Plants are tight in habit with green foliage that turns beautiful shades of cabernet in the fall. That sounds really nice. Full to partial shade, um, hardiness to five, heat to eight, and uh, six to eight feet high, six to eight feet wide. Okay, $24.98. First editions, shrubs and trees.
<laughs> you panting. She gets excited and she's like, ah, 